Hello, 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 hello. How is everyone doing? Welcome to Eat Predators Daily. I'm your host, Alexa Nicholas. Let's digest Colleen Ballinger today. But first and foremost, how how is everyone doing? Oh, I'm I'm always playing on my phone. God, I gotta remember that. But how is everyone doing? <laughs> Eat predators and leave no crumbs. I <laughs> love leave no crumbs power to survivors what else is everyone saying well we got people in here christina hi melanie oh wait melanie that was you (laughs) melanie i love you melanie you are the best how is everyone doing what are what are your plans this week i wanted to uh talk to the chat for a second because i know the last couple of days It's been kind of triggering for me, and so I was so here, and I wasn't able to really see much that was going on in uh, the chat, and so I wanted to say hello to everybody today. I miss everyone. Hi, Jay. Hi, Sia. And there's new members today as well, and so I wanted to say welcome, 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 and it's so nice to have you here The support really, really matters, and so I can't say thank you enough. And if everyone can just remember, because I'm trying to remind myself to click the like button so we can help boost more uh, survivor-centric narratives on YouTube, that would be so wonderful, so wonderful. Hi, Marissa. Hi, Pluto, Josh, Anthony. It's so nice to see all of you. It's so nice to see all of you. And so obviously tomorrow I will not be live, but Friday, I know that usually I do members only uh, Britney Spears book club on Sundays, but this week and probably moving forward, uh, the member only videos will be on Fridays instead because I'm trying to take the weekend off with my family with Nova and Truth and Nico, and so I'm trying to make it Monday through Friday, and so hopefully that's okay with everyone. So just a reminder that the book club will be on Friday. It will be our last Britney Spears book club, which is gonna be sad. (laughs) I honestly feel like I'm just gonna end up reading that book a bunch of times, to be quite honest with you, but it will be the last one, and then we're moving forward to Jeanette McCurdy's podcast, hard feelings we're going to be listening to her podcast talking about it i think it's really wonderful what she's doing and here at e predators i really want to boost uh survivor centric narratives like jeanette mccurdy herself and so we'll be talking about that telling our feelings maybe sharing our hard feelings with one another and i'm really looking forward to that so the chef's kiss tear will turn into the Jeanette McCurdy uh, podcast, which I'm really looking forward to because Jeanette McCurdy is so cool, right? I'm hoping that everybody in here really gives her a lot of support because she's a super, super brave individual. Oh, hi, David. Welcome to Chef's Kiss. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then on the other, so every other Friday, we're also doing Social Change Now, and this is for every single tier for E Predators Daily. And it's wonderful because I really wanted to have one day out of the week where, I don't know, it's a little bit more healing. And also I wanted to allow everyone here to find their own voice and their own unique unique ways of showing up for change. And so this workbook has been so amazing for me personally. I'm really, really loving this. And it goes through all the different ways that you can show up for change. And there's not just one way, right? We all have our unique ways that we can show up. And so this will be for all tiers. And I'm really looking forward to that the following Friday. And let's get into the programming for today. (laughs) Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here for me the last couple of days when it was super triggering. I appreciate every single one of you. So I do want to remind everyone, obviously, that ePredators Daily is completely DIY. It's been grassroots since last year when I was protesting institutions that were covering up essay allegedly 
And so I would protest these institutions every Thursday. And now it's grown into not only the protests, but now I'm also here on YouTube trying to make sure that there is more survivor-centric narratives when it comes to predatory behavior in the media. And so this we don't have any sponsors. And so I do want to remind everyone the ways in which you can support this channel and support the activism and the artivism that uh, is part of Eat Predators. So first and foremost, we have the Patreon here. And the Patreon is a great way to, you know, not only just support the channel, but to support the protests that I am doing once a month now. I'm organizing protests, and our next one is at Sony Music. I've protested them before, and now with Cassie and P. Diddy's uh, lawsuit that has become very, very public, I learned that Sony Music had more to do with that than I would like to say here. And so I'll be going back to Sony Music, protesting with a bunch of survivors, and so the Patreon is a great way to support that aspect, which is these signs behind me are the signs that my husband and I make together. Uh, they're artivism, protest signs, and we print them out and we give them to people to hold. And it's just a really, really wonderful way to inform passerbys, like anyone that's passing the protest, they can look at a sign and maybe stop and ask a question. But also when they look at the sign, they might get a lot of information even if they don't ask. And so the Patreon really helps with that. The Patreon really helps with the printing, the paper, the ink, et cetera. And it also helps with bringing water or sunscreen on some days for obviously the people that, the brave individuals that are protesting. And so the Patreon also gives you Discord access, which is a great community of allies and survivors, and we can share information with one another. And also for the $11 tier on Patreon, I just added that I will be doing end of the month live Q and A's with the Patreon members. And I'm really looking forward to that. You can ask me questions, we can chat and connect, and I'm really looking forward to that. Moving on from there, the other way to support ePredators is the merchandise, obviously, and it's also a great way to spread awareness. I've gotten multiple messages from individuals that have worn it, and they started a conversation with someone, and it was a productive conversation, and it spread awareness. And so this is also a great way to make what we're doing here sustainable and to keep this going. And it's really, really important to me. I dedicated my whole life, committed my whole life to this. And so, yeah, your support really matters. Um, we got the E Predators t shirt, which is a favorite I've been seeing <laughs> throughout Shopify. And so that's a favorite. I love this one. Nova actually has one too, by the way. We got the Zoe 101 E Predators Academy. We got Power to Survivors Tote which is the anthem for e-predators. It's all about giving power back to, to survivors. And so, yeah, so those are a few ways. And obviously the membership and liking, subscribing, sharing, any of it. You just being here is really helping uh, support what I'm personally doing. And so I just want to say thank you again in every way that you have been showing up, even if it's just hitting like. Seriously, it matters. I see you and thank you so so much becca i see becca what's up becca hi juliet welcome 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 josh allison okay so today we are going into colleen ballinger and i've been honestly wanting to talk about colleen ballinger for quite a while but i think i was in my birth window when a lot of this was coming up and when i when i was learning about it and so i wasn't able to really cover Colleen Ballinger, but Colleen Ballinger ended up recently posting a video after her extremely problematic ukulele whatever post that she made. And obviously I have a lot to say. Sorry, what? Oh, okay. Um, I have a lot to say about Colleen Ballinger. And I have a lot, of, lot to say about Colleen Ballinger because Obviously, I was on Zoe 101, and Dan Schneider was the creator of that show, and we got Nickelodeon as well, and I've been extremely outspoken about the complicity 
that Nickelodeon was a part of when it came to Dan Schneider and the exploitation of children. A lot of other creepy things, to be quite honest with you. And once I heard about Colleen Ballinger, my the red flags were a waving everywhere. And for me, especially as a mom and as a survivor, I find it extremely problematic when we have individuals that are marketing themselves to children and that their intentions might not be what we hope them, what we wished for them to be. And I hate it. I honestly hate it. It's something that's very, very triggering for me, especially because of Dan Schneider. And strangely enough, there's a connection between Dan Schneider and Colleen Ballinger that I found on the internet that we will be talking about today when it comes to Victorious. And so I wasn't shocked by that either. I really was not shocked that she uh, was hired by Nickelodeon, Dan Schneider. I really was not shocked by that. But first and foremost, I'm going to read at least a little bit on the Wikipedia page when it comes to Colleen Ballinger for those who don't know about the accusations that she has against her. And we'll do a little bit of a summary of that and then we'll we'll drop right into her content, the ukulele video, and then her recent one. But first and foremost, also, I want to make sure that you know, obviously with E-Predators, this is survivor-centric narratives. So we will be playing a video uh, that a survivor of hers has created as of late. And so we should listen to Adam and what Adam has to say about all of this. That's more important even than what I have to personally say about it. So we'll be doing a little bit of all of that. So let's get into it. Let's digest. Let's digest. <laughs> oh my God, my fucking brain. Okay. So we got accusations of inappropriate conduct. So in April, 2020, 17 year old fan and YouTuber, Adam McKinner, I'm going to guess that's how you say it. For any of those Irish or Scottish folk out there, British, please let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. Accused Ballinger of enlisting his unpaid help for content. He had suggested for her Miranda Singh's social media accounts and of sending him L-I-N-G-E-R-I-E when he was only 13 years old. Hi, Christina. Thank you so much. Power to Survivors. Yes. Oh, I know. We're working on that. I really want to be able to start sending the merch to Canada. I'm definitely working on that. So only 13 years old. The following month, Ballinger posted a video to YouTube in which she said that McKinner had asked for the, you know, blank after seeing it displayed in one of her live streams as one of several gifts for her fans. She also said it had been a mistake in judgment to send the blank to him. She noted that she often uses comedy ideas suggested by fans, but admitted that it had been a mistake, oh, just a little mistake, to allow the young fan to post directly to her Twitter account for a day without carefully vetting the content that he posted. What the fuck? Ballinger also addressed criticism of some of her older videos. Uh, something, okay, so she was doing satirical content about Latina and overweight women agreeing that they were insensitive and apologizing for having posted them. This person already is just honestly, but afterwards McKinner continued to post videos criticizing Ballinger. Good for Adam. In June, 2023, YouTuber Cody Tyler Dahl, another former fan posted a video showing purported screenshots of a group chat of Ballinger participating with minors, including McKinner, then about 15 years old, where he asked for suggestions for an upcoming Q&A on his YouTube channel. The shot shows Ballinger suggesting, are you a V-I-R-G-I-N? What? and asking McKinner his favorite S position. What? Dahl's video led to renewed accusations by McKinner 
and allegations by other former fans and employees, including of racial insensitivity on the set of Haters Back Off. Wow. Ballinger later posted a response video, partly in song, accompanying herself on the ukulele. Can't wait to watch that. She admitted that she had made mistakes, but denied being a broomer and called the accusations lies and gossip. Oh, wait, what did Chrissy Carlson Romano call the accusations against Hugh Hefner? Do we remember? Oh, yeah. Rumors. Rumors. Just gossip. That's when, when survivors come forward and, and share their truth. Their, their truth gets called gossip, lies, rumors. Rumors, as uh, Chrissy Carlson Romano likes to call them. McIntyre, I think, Marissa. Okay, good. Thank you for telling me that. Maybe it's McIntyre. <laughs> Um, okay, so we got lies and gossip made up for clout because survivors are always trying to get the clout from their most painful experiences in their life and from their trauma, right? The video received negative comments and was parodied online. After Ballinger's response, an ex-employee posted alleged screenshots in which Ballinger appeared to send him purportedly NU. DE photos of YouTube and OnlyFans creator Trisha Paitis. 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 Uh, so Adam then asserted that Ballinger sent him the same images when he was only a minor, a child. Paitis soon reviewed and released a video condemning Ballinger and ending their personal and professional relationship. In July, Ballinger canceled the remainder of her 2023 live shows, and Andrew Quintana wrote in Vanity Fair, the substance of Ballinger's alleged brooming has not been interrogated by media outlets reporting on the controversy. Vanity Fair, you could blah, blah, blah. Bye, Vanity Fair. We don't like you that much here. At, we don't like you at all, actually, here at E-Predators Daily, so I'm not even going to listen to what you have to say. In September, on Howie Mandel's podcast he asked jojo about her friendship with ballinger and whether she thought that the accusations against ballinger are all a lie siwa said i know colleen very 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 well being a comedian is very hard the internet was able to capitalize off of her cancellation a lot of it is based off of lies whoa 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 whoa, whoa. jojo siwa Wait, Jojo Siwa is an enabler? I'm sorry. This is the first time I'm finding out about this. Being a comedian is really, really hard. You know what's really, really hard, Jojo? Being a survivor. And also, you know what's really, really super hard? Is coming forward to the world about your trauma. That's really, really hard. And who are you to say it's a bunch of lies? When to me, what I saw on Wikipedia, in my opinion here, seems like there's evidence of this type of behavior. Am I wrong? I'm kind of shocked by JoJo right now. JoJo, what? Marissa, JoJo became friends with her when she was 12. Yeah, this is the problem when when... Adults have influence over children. There's a trust that sadly gets formed there and it's really, really hard to break. And obviously for me as a survivor of, you know, child SA, you know, it took me so many years to even fully come to terms and, and fully even realize what happened to me because I was just a child when it all began. And that's really, really scary. What is Becca saying? Jojo has been, and I think it will come out. She is also, oh, okay. So yeah, you know, this is sad. This is, this is really important also just to note is, see, Survivor comes forward. There's evidence here of extremely inappropriate, um, behavior and then you get somebody with a huge platform jojo 
who I'm sure Jojo has millions of followers on Instagram, et cetera. And, you know, just like that discredits the survivors just like that. And I, and I personally don't really like that. I'm shocked. I'm really, really, really shocked by that. So didn't know this about Jojo. Good to note. And in November, Ballinger resumed vlogging on YouTube. Okay. So here we are in November. It's 20. It's the 22nd. I'm so grossed out by Jojo right now. I'm just like, why would you say it's really hard for Colleen and not say it's really hard for the children that were allegedly exploited by Colleen Ballinger? Why is it hard for her and why is it not hard for them? Just shocking. Blech. Okay, so let's go into a bit of Colleen's uh, ukulele performance here. And, you know, I haven't really watched the entire thing through. So let's let's do this. Are you going to play? Oh, my God. Whoa, I'm sorry. Wait, why was there such stillness? <laughs> that was so scary. Honestly, for me personally, why? That was the weirdest beginning of, of a video I have ever seen in my entire life, honestly. It was... That was fucking awkward. Okay. Oh, wait, you're just not hearing it? Oh. Do you want me to turn it up? Okay. All right. All right, all right, I'm playing it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So right away, wait, wait, right away, Colleen just starts it with, it's not true. And that the survivors are, are, are what? Liars? <laughs> and with her, with, with her little ukulele here. <laughs> Sorry. This is not real, you guys. Is this really real? Did she really post this? And wait, what's the caption? Hi? How about more bye? <laughs> bye, Colleen. What the fuck wait thank god i can't hear it can people hear it it's not oh my god it's not even playing <laughs> mm. that's so weird we we reset what yeah just reset it Okay, can everyone hear me? Turn it back down. Okay. Okay. Can everyone, I'm gonna play this for a second and make sure everyone can hear this. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. Haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. Get out of here. You haven't been doing so great. Have you asked how the children are doing? Colleen? Have you asked how the children are doing? Or are you too busy with your ukulele? 
Okay. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though. Just as long as it's entertaining. Whoa! Okay, listen, there is, there is honestly, whoa, that's okay. There's honestly nothing entertaining. There is nothing entertaining about allegedly children being exploited by an adult. Colleen. It's concerning. Alarming. Maybe. But I don't know if it's necessarily entertaining. Maybe some people found it entertaining that are, you know, I call them like the popcorn munchers, you know, like that just want to see anything happening. But for the majority of us, for the majority of us, it's alarming. It's concerning. And as a mom, like, I'm not entertained. I'm appalled by you, Colleen. I'm not entertained at all. But you seem to be trying to make your accusations entertaining with this ridiculous ukulele performance that you got going on. You're making it entertaining or attempting to. Okay, just getting that clear real quick. All right, let's continue. Wait, wait, sorry. No, it did not. Wait. Should I just play it through my mic and just make it loud? Okay. All right, I'm just going to make it loud so you guys can hear it through my mic. All right. Wait a minute. I'm playing it. Wait, she did not call this manipulation station. This is on a whole new level for me personally as a survivor witnessing this. This is on a whole new level, honestly. She is victim blaming these survivors, children, children, victim blaming them with a fucking ukulele on her couch. Is this her couch? I'm assuming this is her couch. How is this even real manipulation station? Girl, what? What is this? There were rumors. Here are rumors once again. And who said the rumors thing again? By the way, we added vulnerable uh, emojis in for uh, Eat Predators. So if you can, if you want to find that and put it in there right now. But obviously, Christy Carlson Romano is another individual who called the uh, accusations, the allegations against Hugh Hefner rumors even though she had the survivor of his on her podcast and it's very interesting that the word enabler is actually within the word vulnerable which I thought about late at night and it was a very strange realization to be quite honest with you but right away acting as though when survivors come forward about their truth that their rumors gossip lies manipulation station I mean, if anything's manipulation station, it's what I'm watching right now. <laughs> this is manipulation station, in my opi in my opinion, personally. All right, let's continue. Who's having fun? Wait, who's having fun? Who, who who's having fun? No one's having fun with this, Colleen. This isn't fun. This isn't fun. Me to not say what I want to say. 
might be a good thing to listen to your team here and be quite honest with you because this is not it. This is definitely not it. I'm seeing the uh, vulnerable emojis, but this is 100% not it. Whatever you're doing here, you should have definitely listened, but you're, in my opinion, this is just straight up narcissism. This is narcissism, extreme narcissism. Everyone was probably telling her, don't do anything that's problematic. Don't do anything at all. And she was like, no, I know how to handle this. Oh, I know how to take control of the narrative again. Oh, no, 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 I got this. And it's like, wow, boy, did you not got this. <laughs> you do not got this at all. You literally picked up a ukulele and in a creepy way stared at the camera for a little too long in a way that made me even fucking uncomfortable. And then you went into discrediting all the children that have what I seem, you know, on Wikipedia has evidence of. How is it a lie when there's evidence? That's another thing with alleged predators. How is it a, a lie and a rumor and gossip also w w when there's evidence? Isn't that the opposite of a rumor? The opposite of gossip? Evidence? Isn't evidence what you need to convict someone of a crime? I'm just saying, you know? So, whatever. Okay. to laugh it is so this is i haven't watched this all the way through you guys i'm sorry i am i am in shock they told me not to talk but they they didn't tell me i couldn't sing what no we mean all of it just like don't say don't let anything come out of your don't do anything. <laughs> don't don't do anything at all. At all. N no music too. I guess they had to conf they had to really let Colleen know that means music too. They probably never thought in a million years she was going to do this. Like this is just so embarrassing. Holy shit. Again, we're going again. Okay. She did not try to make alleged predatory behavior just sound like she's a loser. <laughs> Although, you know, I guess a lot of people online might call, you know, alleged predators uh, losers. But that's definitely not the term uh, for the behavior that was exposed when it comes to Colleen Ballinger at all. N right. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's most alleged predators. They don't want anyone to know anything about what's actually happening. They're so narcissistic that they think they can actually take hold of the narrative, control it, and get everyone to believe them once again. And that's what I was talking about yesterday is the whole bystander thing. They are not only concerned about the victim, they are concerned about the bystanders, and they will... The bystanders are also prey to an alleged predator. They, they are also prey. And they will try to get them to see them in a certain light. And then that will protect them and discredit the survivors, the children in this case. And it really seems like that's what she's, uh, she's doing here, in my opinion. All right, let's go. No, this is not real. This is not, this is not real. This ain't tea. This is not tea. These are allegations of exploiting children, sending blank, blank, blank to them, asking them, are you a blank? 
asking what their favorite blank is. To children, 13, 15, what tea? What tea? You can't even just say you did that. You can't just say it. You can't apologize to the children. You really can't do that. But you can go on YouTube and pick up your freaking ukulele and sing this annoying ass song that no one honestly cares about. They're only watching it because they can't believe you did this. But this you can do, but not say you're sorry to the children. Maybe not even just boundaries. Just don't send blank to them and don't ask them, are you a blank? And don't ask them what their favorite blank is, you fucking weirdo. Like, what are you talking about boundaries? This isn't even about boundaries. You cross over children's, children already have, society knows the boundaries for children. But you, this isn't about your boundaries, Colleen. It's about children. Children. Wait, Sia. She hired Andrew Brettler after this, who was rep. Yep, I know. Danny Masterson, Prince Andrew, Army Hammer. It speaks volumes. Oh yeah, the 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 lawyers that these alleged predators go and hire don't make them look any better. It's really sad that it's like picking up the ukulele when they hired these uh, lawyers. It's just picking up. Picking up the ukulele and really showing the world who you truly are. So, okay. This one I would overshare. Details of my life are just real weird to me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. You did not take accountability. Like, you didn't take accountability. You're saying there, you started this song, this whatever the fuck you want to call this. You started this ukulele song by discrediting the children. You think that's accountability? What's wrong with you? Do you even know what accountability is, Colleen? Accountability is genuinely apologizing, admitting to your wrongs, and attempting to offer support in the ways that the survivor maybe will want. If that's therapy, you know, whatever the survivor specifically wants. That's accountability, not you going on fucking YouTube, picking up this stupid ukulele right now and discrediting them in a song and calling their accusations a uh, manipulation station. It's, it's just, wow. I haven't seen a, a, a narcissist like this in a minute. She's calling it boundaries. Um, yeah, play a real guitar. Yeah, you, I mean, the ukulele is nice. My, Nova loves the ukulele, and she, you know, the ukulele, just not, don't, I don't want her using the ukulele. I don't want her honestly doing anything on YouTube right now. Okay. Well, that's not very interesting, is it? So Welcome. She's saying she took accountability and then just, she said she took accountability and then just goes straight into like discrediting the children. This is wild. She doesn't understand that you can't manipulate like this. What Melanie boundaries. It's giving Jonah, totally giving Jonah boundaries. Like no one gives a fuck right now about your Boundaries, honestly, because you literally crossed over inappropriately ch uh, children's uh, boundaries. So ridiculous. Her family is the same way. Okay, yeah. Shame on Colleen Ballinger. Call what? No, I don't. All right, I got to look into her family, too, I guess, after this. But I can't believe this keeps... This is 10 minutes long? Okay, I'm not getting through. I'll go halfway and I'm out, Colleen.
seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Wait, then she goes right back into accountable. This is creepy. Is this not creepy? It's like she goes into just discrediting everyone. And then she's like, I love accountability. It's like, how do you, lo do you know who you are? <laughs> do you, do you know who you are on the insides? <laughs> like, do you, do you know who you are? Cause everyone else is seeing who you are. It's that obvious, sadly, but you seem to not know. And it's, it's, it's giving me, it's really embarrassing, honestly. And just wow, and hurtful to the the children. This is like hurtful, gross, embarrassing, humiliating. Um, just this is wow. Okay, a little bit more. You're not doing it. Okay, I don't care. I'm stopping right there. <laughs> How's that for a rhyme, Colleen? Um, I don't care, and I'm stopping right there. I actually do not give a fuck what, what's coming next, honestly. You are, whoa, 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 whoa. Way to tell the world or show the world who you honestly really are. So, okay, so she did this video, and then she went missing for, for four months, I'm assuming. So this was four months ago. She goes away, everyone probably felt like whew, an exhale. Um, and then now, a couple days ago, she releases a vlog. And I and I honestly, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the vlog world. It's just not for me personally. And I, and I understand that people like it, sometimes they see, you know, uh, where to get a couch or like how to rearrange their house. Like, I get it, I'm not even dissing it, but I'm personally not a, a vlogger. Or I don't watch vlogging. <laughs> I really, though, have a problem with individuals that have their children, have their children in these vlogs. I just, it gives me an icky feeling. Not only is YouTube monetizing off of these children, but also the, the, the parent is. And it, I just, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan, and that's honestly why I couldn't gifted one Alexa Nicholas membership. Oh, you gifted someone a membership? Wait, this is so sweet, Veronica. You could be a lucky recipient. Oh my God, that's so sweet, Veronica. You gave someone a membership? I've never seen this before. This is so sweet. Thank you so much, Veronica. That's so nice to give that to someone. That's really sweet. I love that. That's so kind. Holiday season, not, I mean, after... You know, let's not get into Thanksgiving today. That was really sweet, Veronica. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, vlogging with children. Not a fan of it. And it seems like good old Colleen uh, ba Ballinger here is one of those vloggers. And it's interesting because I'm not saying that there's always a connection between the exploitation of children with vlogging to what Colleen Ballinger has been accused of. But it's not... It doesn't blow my mind that she's a vlogger with her children and then there is some type of other exploitation of children uh, when it comes to accusations against her. I'm not I'm not personally shocked by that. It, it, it seems like it's a, a pretty easy uh, crossover. So anyways, she comes out with fall vlog and... I think it's actually more important before I even play this is to let Adam, the survivor of Colleen Ballinger, speak on this vlog post because he has a lot of insights about why she posted out of the blue, what's going on, his thoughts on it. And I really think it's important for us to listen to him. Also, he has a YouTube cha channel, and I see here that Colleen Ballinger has 3.23 million subscribers. Let's try and get a lot of subscribers over to Adam's YouTube channel. Um, let's really boost the survivor narrative, and let's maybe possibly leave Colleen Ballinger behind. So I'm actually going to go straight to straight to what Adam has to say about this. 
Yeah, sure. How do I do it? Yeah, I have it. Wait, my my mic or the? Yeah, I have it all the way down. And that's just on her vlog. But they can hear me, right? You guys can hear me? Is my audio at least working? Okay, cool. I want to look what's going on in the chat while we figure out this desktop audio really quickly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The chat's just going. Hey, wait. Catch me up. Catch me up. My computer's just like... Blah, 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 blah. Veronica. Hi, Veronica. It's working? Okay. The Gifted One membership. Oh, and Sydney, welcome to the dinner party. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So, should we try it out? Okay. Obviously, you're aware of what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, Colleen Ballinger has came back to YouTube, and I think it was... Are we hearing it? Are, can you guys hear? Wait, still? Can they not hear it through my mic, though? Oh, well, maybe I can put it play style that we were all expecting, which is diminishing everything as much as possible. And I know a lot of people. Wait, what's going on? It's very loud. OK, we're wanting me to respond and, and talk about it. And I haven't said anything on any of my social medias about it. So this is actually the first time that I'm responding to it in any capacity. Um, and that was for a reason, but I also kind of want to talk about why she's posted this video, this specific time, this specific date, before we get into it. Everyone being, everyone here able to hear this? I just want to make sure. If someone said it's good. You're all good, Alexa. Yeah. It's all good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Colleen Ballinger is a smart woman, and she knows what she's doing. I know a lot of people would argue different, um, but Colleen Ballinger, first and foremost, posted this video uh, within the six month window of her Toxic Gossip Train video, which if you do not know, as a YouTuber, you have six months before YouTube demonetize your YouTube channel, basically for inactivity. So she has came back um, just within that window, really close to closing. Whoa! See, I love listening to Survivors. I love it so much because you get context you 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 get what's actually going on so what adam's saying here is that if you are inactive for more than six months on youtube then you can lose your monetization on your channel so her ukulele whatever the fuck that was was four months ago was four months ago and we're getting around that time where she's going to have to make a video to keep up her monetization, which is so interesting. Thank you, Adam, for for teaching. Even I don't need I didn't even know that. Um, so that she could keep monetization on her YouTube channel. So that is one of the main reasons she's posted this video now. Um, also, it's important to note that one of the other reasons that she's posted this is we have officially entered the. Christmas holiday earnings on YouTube, which if you do not know, didn't know this either, by the way, you guys. So I guess during this time, there are more um, corporations pumping in ads into YouTube. And so the monetization goes up for YouTube creators, which is wild. And I also did not even know that. So Adam's teaching a lot here. So it makes sense that not only is she coming back around during the time that she needs to to keep her monetization, but also it's a time where the monetization gets a huge boost. Wow, Colleen. Adam, ca Adam caught you there. Google AdSense peaks around this. Right. Um, 
Um, so Colleen Ballinger posting it basically on the week that Google AdSense is peaking again is not surprising, obviously. Not surprising at all after watching that ukulele video. Hmm? You know what, Colleen Ballinger? Okay, let's just continue. Is that she posted this video on a Saturday night in the UK, uh, which meant that most likely the person who is living in the UK, who has been very outspoken about a lot of this, mm -hmm. which is me, um, I live in Manchester, mm -hmm. um, would not be able to respond to it uh, quickly, like how I normally would. Um, and here we're seeing it. I'm responding to it a day later. Interesting. Interesting. Keep on. Keep, keep telling us, Adam. Um, I was at the club whenever this was posted last night. And I watched it this morning and we're going to watch it again um, now, but it was very tactical when this was posted, um, not only about the money side of it, but from the point of view of it was whenever it wouldn't have been convenient for me to respond to it, which would have meant that the public favor could have been more on her side because I. Right. Right. Because she wanted to, uh, you know, possibly make sure that the narrative she was in control of the narrative. And that is why I am really pushing for more YouTube content that is survivor centric, like Adam. And by the way, go follow, I mean, go subscribe to Adam's page. He's at 408 subscribers. That's so wonderful. But just remember, Colleen is has a lot of subscribers. And so please go over there, like the video, follow, because Oh yeah, so if one of the mods can post the link honestly into the chat, that would be so wonderful because we need to boost the survivor's voice. And it's just so sad that I see that Colleen still has this huge uh, subscription-based whatever community after everything and after taking no accountability for her alleged actions, even though there's like evidence. <laughs> um, but whatever. Um, it's just so sad. So. It's really important to to support survivor centric narratives on YouTube. And Adam is doing that and and honestly such an inspiration. So let's keep going. It was silent, if you will. Um, also, I have had a lot of people who are my friends here in the journalism industry reach out to me um, saying that the reason she posted it on a Saturday past a certain time in America is that all journalists go on their weekend break which means that she's posted this whenever they all clock off for the weekend. Right. And that is so true. So, for example, if something comes up, unless it's like Russell Brand or someone, right? If something comes up at the end of the week, the journalists are off for the week and they take the weekend off. And so they won't be able to cover it until Monday. And so it's so interesting, like every bit of what Colleen is doing here is strategic. And I really want to say that a lot of alleged predators, which a lot of these alleged predators are narcissists, obviously. And it looks like everything's just a, wah, wah, like as if they didn't think about it before they did it. But trust me, they are very strategic. Everything is prey to them and they exploit everything around them ruthlessly. That's what they do. And they make it look like it just whoops happened like this. But no, 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 no. Don't get it mistaken. Everything is strategic. And Adam right here is, uh, is explaining every step of the way on how it is strategic. So which means that the next time people are going to speak about this is going to be Monday in articles and stuff. Oh, yeah, I can turn the captions on. Here you go. Um, so she specifically waited for the, the time limit that journalists had went home for the weekend, mm -hmm. um, which is incredibly convenient, but obviously doesn't surprise me. Um, we're going to get into the video. We're going to talk about it. I have a lot to say, obviously. I'm sure. um, I do think it's such a slap in the face. And I also uh, want to address the main question that I've got, which is people saying Adam got uh, an apology privately, 
that is not true. Uh, <gasps> Whoa. And this is someone who on a ukulele is saying that they took accountability. <laughs> you haven't even apologized to Adam privately. Yo, I, I, let me just remind everyone. Britney Spears apologized to me privately about something that happened to me when I was a child. And it wasn't this. And, and, and still apologized to me. And it's Britney fucking Spears. Who does Colleen Ballinger think she is? She thinks she's better than Britney Spears? No. Like, wow. You can't just... Uh, and she did it publicly. And she put it in her book. Colleen, what is wrong with you? And I'm sh I saw like a Twitch video of Adam speaking out about it and was just like, you know, honestly, I would just, I just wanted an apology. If I just got an apology, uh, Adam was like, I would just stop talking about it altogether. And like survivors really do just want to hear an apology too. And you know, it's up to them how they take the apology. It doesn't mean they have to forgive the individual, but survivors deserve to at least hear a true, genuine apology. Apologies are very important to survivors because we're constantly told we're liars and an apology is a validation of our experience. And to have the person who did it to us validate that it did happen means a lot on the healing journey for a survivor, right? So, wow, hasn't even apologized to him privately. I have not heard from Colleen Ballinger mm -hmm. at all. Um, I do not have her blocked. Boy, am I over the performative thing. I'm not going to lie. I am so over this performative bullshit. It's just getting super old. It's getting super old. And I'm, I'm hoping that to the community at large, it's becoming extremely obvious too. And it's becoming very transparent. This performative, uh, just performative material, performative apologies, performative, all of it. I'm hoping that we're really starting to see through all of these people. Really. Um, but I do just want to make that clear first and foremost. Um, so this video is 13 minutes long, and the first couple of minutes of it are addressing everything. So we're going to watch that right now, and then we're going to have a little debrief and talk about everything. But let's get into it. So this is called Fall Vlog. Sorry I've been gone for this long. You don't need to apologize. Apologize to Adam. Why are you saying sorry about you being gone for so long? Nobody cared. No one wants you to be around right now. That, that, that just drove me. You're able to say sorry for not being around? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm... I, I, I've never seen like a, an alleged predator in like the vlogging world really and YouTube. This is out of control. She straight up said, sorry, I've been gone or whatever for a while. N -n 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 the last time you were here, you not only embarrassed yourself, but you literally discredited or attempted to discredit children that have come forward about you with some serious accusations and apparently with evidence. Wow, Colleen. Wow, so you can say the word sorry? So sorry does come out of Colleen's mouth, but just not when it comes to the thing that she should be apologizing about. I go on every single day. Um, obviously, the last video that I posted on here um, is really embarrassing, to say the least. I being accused of some pretty awful things and I just was mad and um, I should have handled that situation with maturity and empathy but instead I just let my ego take over and I'm really disappointed oh, in Oh, no, Colleen. 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 We feel so, we don't feel bad, Colleen. They're, 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 we don't feel bad for what it is you're going through. This is children, Colleen, and apparently there's evidence of your behavior. 
There's evidence. There are children wanting an apology. And you have been marketing towards children. I don't know. It looks like since the beginning. And look how you treated the children you were you were making money off of, man. Like, fuck. This is so sad. You let your ego take over. You're constantly letting your ego take over, dude. You're constantly letting your narcissism take over, in my opinion. This is nothing new. How is this, how is this new to you? You live in, your, in yourself. Look in the mirror and how you're behaving and how you're treating. And look at Adam here. Can we just look? really quickly at the at the freeze frame that I have here look at Adam's face Colleen Colleen's never gonna watch this by the way she has no idea who the fuck I am but whatever if she ever does stumble on this look at Adam's face says everything it's just like such disappointment and sadness and and constantly feeling discredited for speaking their truth Colleen, let my ego take over as if this is the first time you've let your ego take over. You're, you're, you, this vlog right now for fall vlog is letting your ego take over once again and only thinking about your fucking self. Wake up. Sorry. Um, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, she said that she is so embarrassed on how she handled the toxic gossip during video, but we are five months in, and the video is still up on her YouTube channel, and is actually her most profitable video that she has posted. Whoa! And see, this is why I don't want to play her video, to be quite honest, and I really should never even clicked on it. I got to get, like, into that. I, to click on that in to begin with, because... The more that these alleged predators get financially rewarded for their behavior, they're not going to stop. It doesn't like teach them anything. They're getting rewarded. So why would you stop when you're constantly getting financial reward? So now she even gets financially rewarded if she makes a video discrediting the, the, the survivors. No matter what she does, she's getting financially rewarded. And so what is that going to do? That's going to teach her nothing. Like, if I kept giving my dog, Kukla, a treat every time she went into the trash, it's definitely not going to make her stop going into the trash, by the way. She's going to know that when she goes into the trash, she gets a treat. Human beings are the same way. We are also animals, by the way. If we're constantly getting rewarded for our bad behavior, it's not going to make us stop our bad behavior. So, you know, just getting that clear real quick. Right, the video is still up. Sorry, the video is still up. If you're so embarrassed by the video, why don't you take it down? If you're so embarrassed about the video, why didn't you take it down, Colleen? Oh, is that because with each cha-ching, 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 cha-ching? Wow, so true, Adam. It's so wonderful hearing this from the survivor's perspective. Right. Over the last 15 years of my career, there have been moments where I was immature and inappropriate with some of my colleagues, and there were times... Wait a, wait a minute. So, it's so interesting that she can apologize to, uh, you know, this is a fa fake apology, but she can apologize to the public about her being immature and inappropriate and yada, yada, yada. Colleen, apologize to the children that have come forward with accusations against you. But no, you don't want to apologize unless it's making you money, it seems like. You, you are, are talking about your immature and inappropriate whatever, whatever, and I don't even know what exactly you're talking about here. 
But you can't just say sorry to them. You're an embarrassment. And you are so obvious to who you fucking actually are, man. It is wild. It is so ridiculous. There's really no excuse for this fucking type of behavior. Really. Just Adam is asking for an apology. Had, didn't block you. Is leaving his lines of communication open, which a lot of survivors do, by the way. Say you're sorry. Privately. And then publicly. The same way that you're doing this right now. Supersonic speed. Colleen's a mom and still did that nasty stuff. I am pissed. I did not put enough thought into some of my fan interactions. And because of that behavior, people got hurt. And I am so sorry. I never wanted to hurt anybody, but it's clear that I did. And I feel so terrible about that. Um, you never wanted to hurt anyone. Yo, that's also not it. You're an adult and should have known better. You're an adult that should have fucking known better, okay, Colleen? And also, why are you doing this for money? Why is this a vlog? You think this apology, this apology is like your children at this point on the vlog? You're exploiting your apologies even? Privately message the children and stop making it a vlog where the children have to watch you doing this on your vlog. This is ridiculous and cruel, honestly. Marissa, Alexa, please watch Becky and Oliver as well. Okay, I will. I also feel like there's probably people who are disappointed or feel abandoned by me because of my silence over the last few months. So she is so sorry for the fans that she has heard from her inappropriate behavior. Um, yet she hired Prince Andrew's lawyer to try silence all the stories. Colleen Ballinger hired Andrew Brettler, who is infamously the lawyer that works with people mm -hmm. in Hollywood that are being accused of very, 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 very bad things. We're talking Army Hammer's lawyer, Prince Andrew's lawyer. The list goes on and on and on. She hired this person's lawyer. She does not care that she has hurt people. She does not care that she has specifically went out of her way to ruin people's childhoods and inflict such inappropriate manipulative exploitative behaviors onto them she does not care about that so much so that in 2020 when this originally came out and she started the dog pile on the internet against me and in 2023 when she was hiring prince andrew's lawyer because that does not make sense with if you're so 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 sad about the story and you had to take time to reflect and stuff you hired a lawyer <laughs> that infamously works with these kind of people. Yeah, to bury the truth and to intimidate the survivors, to discredit them. You know, that... It's so sad. It's really, really sad. And I'm bringing that up because obviously people are going to forget that because it was a couple months ago, but mm -hmm. I, have, I have not forgot that. I've, I've not forgotten that. Um, and I'm so sorry about that as well. I needed to take time to um, make sure I was listening and learning as much as possible. And, um... So in her time of listening and learning as much as possible, um, she was going around messaging fellow YouTubers um, saying that I was a liar. <gasps> Colleen Ballinger engaged in conversations back and forth sending Trisha Paytas's nudes with me. Oh! Okay. Milos, my predator, would literally respond to every single DM that would come through his page that was about me and, you know, obviously what I went through. He would respond to each one discrediting me, like I'm crazy, yeah. I'm this, I'm that, yeah. and would reach out to people trying to discredit me often. 
And that's what at least my predator did was exactly that, which is going around and trying to make sure to discredit the survivors because predators are more interested in protecting themselves, which is why I keep saying protect survivors, not predators, because predators have been protected for such a fucking long time. And they actually actively try to make that happen. They're paying off people. They're hiring people. They're messaging people. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're intimidating the survivors to protect them. No, not they're not no accountability. It's all about protecting them. And so listen to the survivor here. She's sitting there. I'm I'm sorry about blah 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 and I'm just blah blah blah. Hasn't apologized to the children. Hasn't done that. And actually went around discrediting them privately in messages and also not just that, made that ukulele fucking thing that got whatever, 16 million views, discrediting them, trying to discredit them. So, yeah. Patreon, OnlyFans, whatever it was, or Twitter, wherever she's uploading that. Mm-hmm. Patreon, OnlyFans, whatever it was, or her Twitter, wherever she was uploading them. Okay. And Colleen Ballinger Hi, messages Trisha Paytas saying that I'm a liar, that it was only me that was doing it, which in turn is also admitting that you were engaging in the conversations about whatever. <laughs> she was going around with these YouTubers behind the scenes trying to paint it that I was a liar. We have Trisha Paytas on the record saying she did not want to come forward talking about anything because her friend was telling her that it was all lies and that I was a liar. So when she says I was taking time and I'm processing, she was, she did it in 2020 and she was doing it this year. She was actively going behind the scenes with these YouTubers, calling. Okay, wait a minute. She was going around even, so she's saying she was like on her like resting, you, you know, know whatever, whatever feeling, feeling whatever, whatever way. way. She, she was, was actually, actually actively going, going around discrediting the survivors. Pay tuss. Going around. And Marissa, I, I see that here. Yeah, audacity to blame the children for her behavior. The audacity. The audacity. The children. And still hasn't messaged them. Is the is, is the audio working? Am I okay? Okay. Calling me a liar. Calling me a liar. So this is also a PR lie. I also needed to um, get the help that I needed to, to be okay. Um, I'm a mom first and foremost before anything oh, else. Oh, she's an alleged mom. Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize. We have alleged dad and now we have E Predators Daily's first alleged mom. Fuck, man. I didn't realize we were gonna get an alleged mom this quickly. Wow, 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 wow. She really threw in that mom card. A lot, uh, Miko, if you're watching this, we really got to put in the alleged mom emoji, I guess. We got an alleged mom in the house. Let's just use my, my mic um, audio if it's really going in and out that often. And I can just turn it up a little bit. I did not realize. I did not realize that Colleen Ballinger was an alleged, is an alleged mom. All right. Audio broken. Is it now coming through my mic? Okay, cool. I'm going to play it. And. Oh, and it looks so false. It looks like she's totally lying. It's so bad acting. She is not a good actress, by the way. I'm not going to lie. She is really not a good actress. I was taking care of my, and whatever, in front of her bed with like her, you know. I was taking care of my children. It's like, what the hell are you talking about, Colleen? <laughs> Alleged mom. 
What are you talking about? You were apparently going around discrediting the survivors and hiring that that lawyer, et cetera, and making that ukulele embarrassing thing, discrediting them. That's what you've been up to? That's what you've been up to? Not lost on me whatsoever. And by the way, I have been in text conversations. I have been on those calls with Kim Ballinger when she has been. Am I paused? Oh, wait. Am I back? <laughs> okay. Hot water in the past. I know how she handles these things. Like, if you're watching this and you don't believe me, I've been there when she has been getting cancelled before. I have been talking her through it. I've been hearing her, her process through it. This is bullshit. But it's not lost on me that she's talking about needing to go and get help and therapy and all these different things, which is great. But it doesn't reflect in your behavior, by the way, from the right. last couple months. Um, it's not lost on me that she posted this video merely days after I opened up for the first time about the fact that I have been in intense, uh, basically therapy to do with things that have happened to you when you were a child, which is what she had exposed me to. Um, and that I was finally making progress and I finally felt at a place where I could move on with the story. Now, wow. I genuinely believe from the bottom of my heart mm -hmm. that Colleen Ballinger saw that and saw that I was moving on and saw that I said that I was done with this and I, I was, but that's not what Colleen Ballinger wants because Colleen Ballinger only cares about continuing to being talked. That is why she kept the toxic gossip train video up. That is why she has profited off of it for this long. Colleen Ballinger wants to be talked about in any capacity. And it may sound strange that someone would want that attention whenever it's coming with grooming and predatory, you know, accusations. But that is Colleen Ballinger. Colleen Ballinger is those things. Colleen Ballinger is a grimmer. Colleen Ballinger. Whoa. That's really fucking heartbreaking. To, to hear, you know, this survivor be like, I was moving forward, I was moving on, and, you know, then this happened, it's without an apology, and just to be openly apologizing to fans for, like, not being around making content, vlogging with her children, being the alleged mom apparently she is, in my opinion, to, to, to listen to Adam be like... I want to move on from this and have to be reminded constantly of Colleen's horrific behavior is just, is just so sad. And I really recommend watching this entire video. And I, I, I really hope that someone put it into the uh, chat so that you can watch it because it's really important. And also if we're hearing when, when it comes to Colleen Ballinger, I'm going to say this now because I didn't think about it then is if we hear about Colleen Ballinger uploading a video and Adam wait and see if Adam uh, makes a video speaking on it. So don't give her the clicks, in my opinion. Don't, don't give her the clicks. Go over to Adam's channel and listen to what Adam has to say about it and, and, and show Adam support, the survivor, versus Colleen. So I do want to say that right here and right now. Like, the more we have survivors using their platforms to speak on this, the more that we can educate ourselves, support survivors, and even get more active out there. And so anything to do with Colleen, when she's posting something, let's wait for Adam to, to comment on it before we are clicking on it and, and giving Colleen any type of financial reward for this despicable, honestly, behavior. What I found wild, though, you guys, is this morning my husband – um, like showed me that six months ago she made an I'm sorry vlog, which obviously it, it says it in the caption, like, I'm sorry. And we're not going to watch it today. But what I found really interesting about that is I'm sorry this, I'm sorry that even during the, the time of the accusations, she has this vlog that it's I'm sorry. So people are going to think when they go to her YouTube channel that maybe she apologized, like really, really apologized. 
But no, the video was just her, in my opinion, exploiting her children, opening up Amazon Prime packages and, and, and chilling with her chickens and showing off her house, obviously, which it's a big house and it looks like she's made a lot of money off of YouTube. And it's just so, so sad that this individual is so obvious. She really doesn't hide it. And if more alleged predators, narcissists, obviously, were on YouTube vlogging and just like this, we would see more how see-through. They really think that they can just put the whatever, the, what is it called? The wool over the sheep, the <laughs> wool over your eyes? Yeah, the wool over your sheep, the feet on the hands, the time. Yeah, um, you get it. <laughs> the wool, wool over your eyes. And it's just really sad and and heartbreaking that the survivors have to witness this and even have to narrate the public through it and explain. You know, it's emotional labor here. Adam is still having to do emotional labor when it comes to informing the public what's actually happening because the survivor knows. The survivor knows. And so I think it's really admirable and inspiring what Adam is doing, honestly, with his channel on YouTube and I think on Twitch as well. And we need more survivors out there, you know, explaining to the public and advocating for not only themselves, not only themselves, but for, for other survivors out there. And so, you know, after watching all of this, seeing that Colleen is right back to vlogging and posting, you know, and not being able to apologize to Adam or any of the others, I am a big <laughs> thumbs down, thumbs down when it comes to Colleen Ballinger. You are just not it, not it whatsoever. And, you know, if you ever end up seeing this video, apologize and step away for a while. Please just step away for a while. Let these individuals heal in peace for longer than four to six months without having to see you pop up discrediting them. Give them the time to heal. And respect that. Step out of yourself <laughs> for a moment. But so, yeah, so that's that's where we are with uh, Colleen. I'm very curious if, you know, oh, wait, let's just look really quickly at her on Victorious, um, which I think is very wild that she was on Victorious. I kind of want to end it with a little bit of a uh, chuckle in the sense that Dan Schneider hired, I guess, Colleen Ballinger. But... Here we go. Oh, oh, she's really something else. Honestly, she's really annoying. Like, I hate to use that word. And I don't want to, like, di you know, but with her, it's like, I can say that. I can say that. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, her voice. Wow, she is, um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just honestly, she is too much for me personally. Um, I'm glad that, uh, you know, obviously she isn't doing uh, necessarily material for children anymore, or at least I'm, I, I hope not. If you have any more information about Colleen Ballinger, please put it into our Reddit because I would like to keep an eye, obviously, on what she is up to now that she seems to be back vlogging etc. So please keep me posted when it comes to Colleen. Next, I mean, so tomorrow I'm not going to be around, but Friday we'll be doing the members only Britney Spears book club. And then on Monday, I will be going into the second leaked email from Matthew Underwood, where he hints at and talks about hearing Dan Schneider's side of the story. Uh, can you picture Dan Schneider with a ukulele on YouTube? <laughs> Could you picture Dan Schneider picking up the ukulele, telling his side of the story? Lord. Um, wow. But yeah, so I'll be talking about that email. And I hope that, Alexa, after this live, look into Trent Ballinger. Okay, I will. 
Thank you, Sia. I saw that. I'll look into Trent Ballinger. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes on uh, Colleen Ballinger from this moment forward. And, you know, obviously I don't really want to at all say to celebrate Thanksgiving because of, you know, so if you though are going to hang out with your family and I don't know, have a good meal or something, I hope that you have a nice day and educate yourself about colonialism and predatory behavior and have maybe some tough conversations with your family or not. <laughs> um, but either way, I, I will see you guys on Friday and thank you so much for, uh, being here for another episode of E-Predators Daily. Bye, you guys. Not Colleen. <laughs>